Grab the mothers, if you would, please. <laughs> I've showed you on this a bunch of times how I want this done. Whether it's on that bumper over there, or a wheel, or what have you. But you're telling me this car was done on this, and you are not anywhere close to even have gotten this thing the way it should be. And I'm not just talking about the film on it. And it seems to me like, I don't know. All I know is that is clean. You didn't do that to it. You didn't even get close to that. That didn't even take me a lot of pressure. And we've got to get to where we get the things done right the first time. And this is about your fifth one, so I'm thinking you're going to get pretty on, but this is night and day when I'm over here taking it, this thing is going to bling back at me like there ain't no tomorrow. Stuff like that. There's things you can't do anything about. And you know what? I really appreciate the fact that when you hear something, you might not be boom on fixing it, but you're wondering what it is and you're stopping and you're listening on the trunk and you're not just wearing the motor out. So I see you taking extra time on stuff and that's the good end. Um, so yes, the wipe down. You asked me on this. You asked me, hey, do you want me to do this? Look at this. Take a look at this. What did you actually do to this? Did you just smear a rag over it? It honestly looks like what you did here is have some stuff on here and do that. That is exactly what that looks like. To a T. I mean, I don't get how you're not getting that this stuff has to be scrubbed the hell out of without knocking this off, of course. But I mean, and then when you get it all scrubbed down like this, I've showed you how you've got to hit it with the other side of it, and I'm all worked up and not got my thing in quarters here, but I mean, a guy's got to get the thing looking good. And I'll tell you what, what gets me most about this and makes me a little worked up is I see you doing it, and I know you're capable, and so since I know you're capable, I see you doing it, I see you wiping on those spots, I'm giving you the credit that you've done it, and I'm not taking the time to get down and look exactly every time, and we're missing out. So, do you understand 100% what we're talking here? Is there anything else? So, we're talking from here, tires are sprayed except for this one. Let's just spray this before I go. So, from this point, You're going to go back to dry wipe, chrome with mothers, and see this we got on it. That's what we did when we were doing it on the other day. But the problem is, is all this down here, I, actually, you got this pretty good, but it's just got a coating of smear on it. This whole corner, you kind of missed. And half of it is just, it's got smear all over it. I mean, there's no reason not to take it in your palm and palm the underneath of this to where when I go to show somebody this, they can see how clean the underneath that bumper is. It's one minute of work just running your palm on it. That's a big piece. You don't even got to make it perfect, but at least get it. Um, is that zip ties hanging or what is that? That yellowish looking cord. It's like okay. My biggest concern is you've already mothers this and you didn't do a good job and so it's just costing me product. Dude, come on, look at this. I mean, I don't understand. It honestly is just like you smeared it on there. And I don't want to do the... It's got to start being faster, man, because I can't pay to do something three or four times. It's just by the time it's done, I can't make any money like that. Just paying you over and over and over again for three days to do something should take me one. But cool. It's looking, it's looking good. Some final touch ups for about the fifth time. Don't even worry about them. No, they're breaking. Oh, yeah, they break right off. No problem. Don't matter on that. Yep, they'll fall right apart. Well, back at you. And this top has soaked up. I have reapplied three times, and I've got it to where it's sticking pretty nice. It is all re-moisturized pretty good. I'm gonna give you a look at this side when we get the, this is my last coat, I think. And I'll probably do it actually once more before I picture it. 
And this top will take another time of re-moisturizing like this to get it to really be good. Now you can see how nice and shiny that is. Now it's not just shine because of putting some armor all type material on it, sorry. Look at that tire inflator. This is a shine because this stuff is been cleaned properly, degreased, de-dusted. Now this side I put a little on and it's stuck nicely over the last couple days. Um, I will likely just get this. You know what? We're here now. And I'm not even going to waste my time. Trying to let it, trying to wipe it on. I'm just going to leave it set for 20 minutes or so and Do it to it. I don't get too much of it on the paint. You can tell this corner here is just a little bit light, too. And that's what it's all about. It's just kind of reapplying three, four, five times and making it work. I'll make some more videos on it later, right before it's pictured. And I'll get that upright on the other side. And I believe I just totally missed. Yep. Okay, that's that. And this piece here is going to require quite a bit extra. It'll be the driest part on there. Yeah, buddy. Let this soak in. Okay. Other than that. What's up? Come on! Okay, now remember number one, there's a battery in here, yeah, get it out, and number two, we're going to have to get this thing, well there's a battery in both of these, and we're going to get this thing covered up. No, in case of water and sh wow. You know what, that's just going to go to the dump with us. No, we're just gonna take that whole thing out. Like I told you that one day that I did this whole area, if you got a chainsaw, but I can take the whole tree down. Okay, what are you working on next then?
Okay. Now we're going to have to wait for it to all dry out and re hit that tire up with Armor All after it's wiped down. And again, to where I can ran on it a little bit more. There's no way you can get three or four times through a car wash and never have even sprayed water on that directly. There is no rubbing done on that wheel whatsoever. No water sprayed on that thing directly. It just, that tells me, and I keep wanting to come out every time I tell you, I say, did you do the tires? Did you do the tires? I have a tire brush in here. I've watched you do all kinds of cars. You don't even use the tire brush for what it's supposed to be for. You don't ask me, hey, are we supposed to do the tires on this? Start throwing things out here. You need to get in line with what's going on. I'm lining you out. I'm giving you the process of it. And now I'm going back to step one to show you again. There's no reason I should be showing you how to power wash a wheel. You know how to. You're just missing stuff and it has to stop getting missed. I've told you three or four times about the bottom piece on this car. Yet this morning when I'm asking you to make a list, you can't think of adding the bottom thing to the car. Once I tell you, I don't want to have to remember to tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you, hey, do this, do this, do this. That's probably not on your list right now. Is it? Well, that don't do much because it didn't come out of your head this morning when I was asking you what you had to do. So it's not in your head tight enough. I told you not to plug it into an extension cord. Right? <clears throat> no, that's in two. No, it's in one. Either way. I'm looking at it and I kind of see what's got going on here. The charge runs from I guess from here. Yeah. What about it? What about it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I just told you what it is. It's gotta be plugged into a wall. And that there may have popped the fuse. It always pops. But the tire on the other side, it doesn't look like you need to change it. It what? It don't look like you need to change it. The one that was completely flat. It took air, you mean? Yeah, it took Good. air. Good. That's when I know it's Just, um, most bigger equipment, you can't plug into a cord. They get all picky. All right. So that looks good over there. All these? You got air in all these? Yeah, oh. Where would you run out? Come on. Hello? One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com, Back at you with this. And I just talked to Nick again on this. And I'll tell you what. He did a great job. I told him, I said, dude, now that looks good. And he says, that's cool. I wanted to hear that. Look at that. That looks good. That's how that should look. The way it was looking was not cool. The way it's looking now, he did a great, look at that mirror finish. He did a great job on that. Like one spot I can see he missed there. And I'm not going to pick through on little things like that right now. I'm going to hope he gets better as time goes by. And believe me, I'm just as quick to say, dude, that looks great when I come out. As I am to say, oh, oh, no, 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 and stuff like that. I want to check his bottom piece. That looks great. That's all I expect. I expect it to be clean to where you can see it's actual good chrome and it's not all rusty. When it has dirt and grime on it, it looks rusty and it devalues your car and you'll get less out of it. That's plain and simple. These bottom things here, they look great. The plastic on the bottom, he did a great job on them. Uh, they could have been scrubbed a little harder and got a little cleaner, maybe, but that's a different kind of material. So I'm just going what I've got here. I want everybody to see how clean all the seams are, how this car is non-rusty in this. Every stinking Cadillac you get like these, these are going to fall apart. I know I kind of messed up there. All that plastic goes, but the car looks good. One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. We're on to the 66 Lincoln now. And we got a chunk of them over in the corner. And 